Hi everybody, uh, it's me again and as usual I'm starting to review what we are waiting on the coming week uh, on the Russian market. I'll start with the index of Moscow stock IMOEX and uh, what we have here, it was a growing trend but right now I suppose that we fall down already and uh, here uh, we can achieve this level. You see this gap uh, and maybe 2900 it will be and uh, some movements until 3000 and after it of course we don't know what we will have but I suppose that uh, oil prices will influence a lot and also on Friday S&P and on last week S&P was growing uh, on Friday also it was plus one and a half percent mm, currently we have a futures for uh, S&P that also growing maybe Moscow index will also follow it today that's why we have a chance to close the gap uh, of Moscow exchange uh, what else? Of course, everything depends from the oil prices. And maybe you heard that on the weekend, yesterday, uh, Saudi Arabia told that they planning to discuss increasing of the oil producing, uh, uh, in the uh, increasing the limits of the oil producing uh, inside the OPEC uh, plus. That's why, if we will have more oil on the market, it can fall down. And uh, maybe for Brent oil, we can see this level, 39 on the coming week. That's why uh, it will influence on Russian rubble. Currently, you see, falling trend is already not working. And now we can uh, think that it's already growing trend. It means that uh, Russian rubble, one US dollar will cost about 75 uh, Russian rubles. But of course we don't know when. Uh, we don't know when. But I think that the middle of the August will show a lot for us. Because uh, what we have we have a Gazprom uh, that is a significant uh, part of the Russian uh, index, stock index. Where is Gazprom? One second. And tomorrow, 14th of, uh, 14th of July, it will be last day before the dividends. Maybe we will have 207 maybe 205 but we still have an opportunity for today and for tomorrow to receive these five rubles about around two percent after it it could be a huge huge uh, dividend gap that's why a russian index also will follow it and uh, i don't know oh, how long it will go after but for the gas prompt i don't want to uh, trade to have these uh, stocks after the dividend gap because it will uh, go back very very long time currently because very low prices they decreasing produce producing of the gas and i suppose that it's not so interesting currently one of the biggest company in Russia. And here also we have a Sberbank. Uh, we received a report for six months and they told that they lost 24% for the first six months of the 2020. 24% uh, of the net profit. It means that uh, these guys currently uh, have an opportunity to broke this level 
and maybe we can have 200 rubble maybe we can come even here because uh, currently Russian economy is not recovered yes and many types of business are still closed it means that uh, they will not pay to the bank the biggest bank is Sberbank and they will not pay here uh, and net profit will go down uh, for this uh, company also on the coming week we have Alrosa uh, not have it's already it was a dividend gap and also they told how much they sold for the six months of the uh, 2020 and they lost 86 percent of sales 86 percent guys that's why we can wait Alrosa here after the dividend it will continue falling and I suppose that 60 is the level where you can start to buy maybe first half or first third part um, maybe we'll go in even here nobody knows but after of course when uh, demand on diamonds will recover they will return to the level there were 100 107 you see not bad to see it even here 92 from 64 50 percent growth not bad uh what else on the previous week we have cherkizov group uh meat producer in russia uh, a lot of types of meat you can find in russian retail store and uh, they told that they sold plus 14 percent in amount of meat but uh medium price fell down for chicken it was minus around seven percent for turkey it was also lost about two percent it means that price is going down and their profit also uh, it, this company was very profitable was very interesting and you see the top level in March it's pretty high but still uh, I don't know as for me meat producer is not interesting because it's very big company and uh, I'm not sure about the uh, ecological and uh, following different international rules uh that they don't use a lot antibiotics and so on that's why i prefer another producer uh, i prefer to buy on the private farm sometimes it's my private opinion you know of course sometimes i have no opportunity to wait until the order and i'm buying uh meat in retail store but i'm not uh, you know satisfied with the quality i don't know I don't believe in this company sorry uh aeroflot aeroflot as usual these guys uh told that they lost a lot and you can see here that right now we have this consolidation area here and after it mm, we can close this gap you see for 85 maybe more of course there are no any fundamental news for it but it's Aeroflot it's governmental company and uh, it means that market maker of this company will try to do his best to increase the price because his goal is much higher than current prices as you can see about Gazprom I told again uh, nor nickel it's GMKN here. Uh, <laughs> again, I, I, my goal was here for the end of the week or maybe end of the month of July. But the problem is that yesterday these guys uh, reported again that they have third oil spill in the last one and a half month third already guys before they had no anything that was uh, in the news 
uh, in mass media, but right now it's already third and uh, you see that price continue falling. Uh, it was information in the last week about second spill. Here we see the, not here, here we see the first oil spill. Here it was the second and maybe here it will be uh, price target for the th after third uh, oil spill. That's why. But this company is still very strong. You know, they producing palladium, producing nickel, and uh, it's still uh, high demand from China, from other countries. And these guys keeping about 50% of the worldwide market. That's why uh, they will continue to grow for sure. But uh, it depends from which level to buy. I think that this level is pretty interesting, about 70,900, 18,000, and it's really interesting uh, to take this company. Maybe they even can visit this area to close this gap, for example, I don't know. But company is strong, and I think a lot of uh, People on the market will decide to buy it uh, on this price because the strength of the company mm, can give us goal of 22,500 in the nearest time. And the uh, company strong, company interesting. My goal is here. I will sell it here. Uh, I bought a futures GMU. I need to have this price before September. That's why I'm sure that in August, in case of absence of any new spills, disasters and so on caused by this company and its subsidiaries, we will come here. And uh, what else? It was information and dividends from these guys, Detsky Mir. They selling toys for kids, not for adults, and uh, these guys selling, you see the level was here, and uh, in the end of the week we are waiting, uh, 16th of July we are waiting report for the first six months how much they sold, and as you understand, Many people were sitting home in Russia with the kids and of course they need to buy some toys and so on. And this company, Deskimir, is also uh, still popular in online, not only offline, they have a lot of stores and online uh, delivery is also very developed. And uh, also it was a statistics uh, from um, for the first six months. Of 2020 that uh, sales of toys for kids uh, grew about 260 percent comparing from 2019 and uh, it means that profit of the dead scheme year that will be here oh no 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 estimate not here estimate and uh, 16th of July we will receive information that will influence on the price, I hope positively, and price will go up here for 115. And there are no dividends and so and you see the dividend gap company is still strong. Here was the dividends and we lost <laughs> from the top 107, 103. Dividends were about three rubles and the dividend gap is already closed, you see. And price even higher already. Company is really strong, interesting, and I hope that we will achieve my goal about 115. 115, and I go home. It's okay for me. Another company from uh, with one with the same owner, Detskimir, is managed by uh, AFK Systema, AFKS. It's here. They also own Ozone, uh, 
and Amazon from United States were interested in the end of June about Ozone it is the biggest online retailer in Russia and uh, right now they have something like negotiations maybe to be represented in Russia for Amazon uh, via Ozone you see the same names <laughs> and uh, AFK is uh, the owner of 20% in Ozone it's owner of Detskimir and it's owner of MTS MTS is a telecom operator one of the most uh, powerful and popular in Russia uh, and you see about AFKS we can see 20 I think To close this gap, 21. No, they already closed. No, they didn't. Here. 21. I think that we're going to close the gap. Of course, it was. It will not be in a short time. It's highly volatile, but company is very strong. Also, they own Bashnert. They own 50% of this company. It really uh, strong, uh, and that's why they still growing. I think 20, 90, 50. Yes, we will receive within within the coming month or month and a half. It's for AFKS because they have very good results for Dead Skimir, uh, Toys for Kids. They have very good result with the telecom operator. It was a dividend. Don't worry, everything okay. And uh, company is really interesting. They have about 10% of dividends annually. You see, it was 20 here and was about nine rubble here in January. 13, 20, uh, 33, not bad. Also, they will pay something later. Company is very strong, and uh, you know, telecom, everybody using mobile, internet, and so on, even during the COVID and during the sitting at home. That's why I'm sure 350 from current level, not bad. And also 10% of the dividend. It's for it's for the long time. If you believe in Russian rubble, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> Uh, then you can buy uh, something and to receive maybe dividends, maybe waiting when price will grow for the historical. Historical is what 350 was the maximum. Okay, what else for the dividends? Look, oil. It was a dividend gap, you see. Yeah, the goal was here 556. Five, yeah, 552 five, we came <laughs> before the dividend. 1% I lost in my calculations, okay. And right now, after the dividend gap, uh, total annual dividends is 430, about 430 rubles. Uh, and this company is really strong, really effective, and I suppose that they would come to the highest level, maybe 6,500. And also keeping in mind 10% of the dividends per year, nine to 10, also interesting. But they depend from the oil price totally, as you know. Another company is Avisma. It's a Titan, Titan, sorry for my, English <laughs> Titan produce in Russia. They selling. They also have about, I think, 60 or 70 percent of the worldwide market, like a uh, Nornickel, in producing of Titan. Titan. And uh, this company you see also strong, 25800. But right now, of course, uh, not Boeing, not anybody else re uh, requiring so much sales 
and that nobody want to buy uh, maybe except Chinese you see very interesting in June why I didn't see it before okay and right now the price is here 18300 and uh, I think that it would be interesting to buy around 18,000 to buy first part for example you see this level yes and uh, you can wait in case it, it, it will continue fall down you can wait until 70,500 in order to have 24 when the pandemic effect will disappear and people will continue to fly everybody will continue to uh, airlines will continue to buy Boeing Airbus new planes and I think in this case we can wait for 24,000 maybe more after the COVID it depends also from the price of the Russian ruble and US dollar if US dollar will grow up this company who is selling I don't know 90% uh, to the export and receiving back US dollars you see if Russian rubble will fall down Avisma will go up uh, Mail.ru group it's a competitor of Yandex in Russia IT company and uh, they just started trading in Russian uh, stock no more information but i think that keeping in mind that they have about uh, they have this price why 1800 troubles and yandex that is double price 363 uh, i think that they have a lot of chances they are really effective they have a lot of plans buying a lot they have negotiations with amazon with other international companies I think that we can also see around 2000 and maybe 2500 not so long time uh, and one more for coming week da -da -da -dun. and you can buy Melru in London Stock Exchange also this one they informed about the really high dividends about 15% for the previous year and uh, you see this gap growth and uh, in the end of this week on uh, 16th or 17th of July they have a uh, meeting of the stockholders and they will discuss and confirm this decision about so high dividends that's why from the current level 10.6 we can come I think here 11.23 and in this case you see we can uh, receive around 7% of the profit until the end of this week that's why I think that we must to have profit uh, on this emerging market and I wishing to everybody very successful week and life <laughs> in trading and your personal life thank you very much for watching and uh, please subscribe and uh, contact me if you want to see review about any of the Russian companies I can check fundamentals I can make a special video uh, for your request uh, about one company its fundamentals its history all in this all the information you are welcome please contact me have a nice week bye bye